Today we are going to be testing out the L.L. Bean Cistern Hydra Pack. So we are up here at Spruce Mountain. It's a really small mountain in upstate New York near my parents. It has a fire tower up at top, so I'm excited to see what the views look like today. It is currently seven degrees out, so it'll be a really, I'm gonna be trying to do this really quick so I can get back in this warm car and back to my warm house. The first thing I wanna show you is the front. There is a pouch here. You can put maps or anything that's relatively small in here. It is relatively flexy, so you can probably stuff maybe a shell in there as well. And then on the top here, you'll see that there is a relatively big compartment. So <laughs> it's huge. It's actually nice and felt. So if you do have goggles or something that you definitely don't want to break, um, this is a nice soft pocket for that. In the main compartment, there are a lot of different pockets. So I'm bringing extra gloves since it is seven degrees out. And then I have some hand warmers. I have uh, some foil blankets. But as you can see, there's a pocket right here that you can unzip on the top. There's a hook for your keys. And then below, there are actually two additional pockets that you can throw some stuff in as well. And then the hydration pack actually just goes in between here. There's a little pocket for it. Um, and the one that it comes with is the Hydra Pack brand. The really cool thing about this hydration pack is that you can actually see through the back of the bag here to see the water line, to see where you are with water on your hike or on your bike ride or whatever it may be. So I think that's a really cool feature that you don't often see and that is pretty useful. We are about a mile in to the trail and it is simply glorious. Check this out. Just pure powder, so nice. I don't even feel the pack on my back. Um, super light. Um, it's kind of formed to my body at this point, which is really nice. It's sitting nicely on my hips. I just feel really light and and excited to be out here. And that's really what it's all about. Just getting excited about being outdoors and not worrying about your gear. I'm like, I've been on this trail many times and I'm alone right now. Um, there's no one at the parking lot and there's no other trail to go up here. And uh, I am being such a scaredy cat. I keep hearing the trees creaking and thinking that someone is following me. So if I die, you know what happened to me now. <laughs> to the fire tower. Looks good. It's not open on the top, but I'm gonna go up to the top level that I can get to to check out the view. It's a little bit colder up here. So it's a little bit windier and colder up there uh, than it is down here on the ground. The pack feels really light. It's really organized with all the pockets that it has inside. So it feels really good for a day hike or um, a trail run or a you know, day bike ride. And really, who doesn't appreciate a company that actually makes gear for women, designed for women? I always appreciate that because the men's packs and the men's gear just simply doesn't fit our awesome bodies. Yeah, it's time to head home. I'm really cold. I really can't say it enough, but I love winter hiking. Look at this. It's so icy and snowy and pretty and it just feels like the set of Frozen. It's amazing. So I just got back to the car, obviously. I'm a little frigid, but um, it was a great day out there, so I'm glad that I went um, and tested out the L.L. Bean Cistern 10. It was really light the entire time. Nothing felt overwhelming on the pack. It was forming to my body. Um, I was running through snow, kind of trudging, 
and it kept me really light and really streamlined so I really appreciate that about the pack this is a great pack for small day hikes um, I would recommend it for uh, spring fall summer when you don't need to put a lot of layers I actually wore all of my layers today because it was seven degrees the thing that I really like about this pack is that it actually comes with the bladder that um, goes into the hydration area so you don't often get that from a company um, so I really appreciate that because the bladders alone can be you know forty thirty dollars so I think that's a really good value add for this specific pack. Thanks for watching guys. You can keep watching more gear reviews and tests on Mountain Tested Mondays on ExploreInspired.com. Mountain Tested Mondays.